Kate Dezels as she joins Prince William at Anzac Day Westminster Abbey service, pictures. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has joined her husband, Prince William, at Westminster Abbey for a service of thanksgiving in commemoration for Anzac Day. The Duke of Cambridge, 39, laid a wreath at the Cenotaph on behalf of his grandmother, the Queen, on Monday morning, before attending the Westminster service. Anzac Day, which falls on April 25, observes the anniversary of the start of the First World War Gallipoli Peninsula landings. The doomed 1915 campaign saw thousands of Anzac troops, or the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, die after Allied forces attacked the Turkish peninsula. The aim was to take control of the Dardanelles Strait, a critical route towards Russia and the Black Sea. But the campaign failed to gain ground, and the forces withdrew from the area eight months later. The Anzac spirit is celebrated on April 25 as a show of endurance and discipline. It is marked with a National Day of Remembrance in Australia and New Zealand. The High Commissioners of Australia and New Zealand will address the congregation during the service at the Abbey, as will the Dean of Westminster. Children from each country will then read out prayers. London-based Ngadi Ranana will then perform a Maori Waiata, or song. The Duchess looked elegant as she joined Prince William for the service in a white Alexander McQueen coat dress. Kate, 40, previously donned the ensemble for her daughter, Princess Charlotte's christening. The outfit also made another appearance in 2017, when Kate and William attended a memorial for the centenary of the Battle of Passchendaele in Belgium. She paired the dress with Princess Diana's Collingwood earrings and a sleek matching headband. Ahead of the service, Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, praised the gallant comradeship of the Anzac spirit in a statement. They alluded to the war in Ukraine in their message, with a note of encouragement for those fighting for freedom in the face of oppression. The future king, 73, and the Duchess wrote, as we pause to reflect on the sacrifice of the armed services personnel of Australia and New Zealand in two world wars, and in other conflicts and peacekeeping operations, our thoughts will also be with those communities around the world who are being torn apart by violence and conflict, and those who are fighting for freedom in the face of oppression. The landings have been marked in London since the first anniversary, when King George V sat on the throne. Referencing this, the Prince of Wales added, in 1916, one year after the Gallipoli landings, my great-grandfather, King George V, wrote of the first Anzics, they gave their lives for a supreme cause and gallant comradeship. 106 years later, Gallant comradeship remains a defining mark of the uniformed men and women of New Zealand and Australia.
gallant comradeship remains a defining mark of the uniformed men and women of New Zealand and Australia.